FRC Southeast. I'm your host, Ashley Sherman. Welcome to another episode of ReadyMade. November 4th was an awesome day for FRC Southeast. Nearly 2,000 guests to join us for our first Friends and Family Day in six years. There was something for everyone. Face painting, games and crafts kept the little ones busy, while static display aircraft and a car show, tours and live music engaged the whole family. If you didn't make it out, head over to our Facebook page to check out the photos, and we hope to see you at the next event. FRC Southeast recently cut the ribbon on its new targeting and surveillance system facility, a new building expected to usher in existing and future generation avionics and weapon systems. Building 227, which nearly doubles the size of the old facility, will be home to the F-35's advanced avionics systems and the technicians required to do depot level repairs, supporting the military's most state-of-the-art aircraft. With an expected throughput increase of almost 40% from last fiscal year, Building 227 is expected to return avionics systems back to the warfighter at a higher rate than ever before. Command leadership went old school during its first safety stand down in years. From the back of a truck, our commanding officer, executive officer, executive director, and others discussed the value of what we do and the importance of remaining ever vigilant when it comes to workplace safety. Leadership tasked the workforce to kick complacency and to challenge teammates who aren't putting safety first. Tailgates are expected to become more and more common at the command, as it seems to be a great way to get the attention of our workforce. We'll be sure to keep you informed of any upcoming events as we learn about them. Lyman Bell, an FRC Southeast employee in the clean shop, just celebrated 50 years of federal service. And while he's not big on fanfare or fuss, we couldn't pass up an opportunity to give him the shout out he deserves. Beginning in 1972, Mr. Bell spent 17 years as a groundskeeper for what's now Naval Support Activity Hampton Roads. By 1989, he transferred to the Naval Aviation Depot in Norfolk, where he began stripping and cleaning aircraft parts. Then, in 1995, he made his way right here to FRC Southeast. Mr. Bell's service inspires us all. Congratulations on 50 years. The Chief Petty Officer pinning ceremony isn't just a respected and long-standing Navy tradition, but it also marks years of proven dedication, professionalism, and expertise while starting a new chapter in a sailor's career. Recently, a pinning ceremony was held at Camp Landing for 13 FRC Southeast sailors. Families, friends, and command leadership attended the event to celebrate the achievements of our new chiefs. Bravo Zulu to you all. FRC Southeast Detachment Jacksonville held a change of charge ceremony in October. The incoming officer in charge, Commander Tucci Udinia, relieved outgoing OIC Commander Clement Smith. Commander Smith led Detachment Jacks with distinction during his tour, carving out time to prioritize efficiency, safety, and sailor development. Welcome to Commander Udinia and to Commander Smith, who has joined us at Building 101 as our new production officer. Congratulations to both of these great leaders. FRC Southeast supports charitable programs all year long, but the holiday season ramps things up around the command. This time of year specifically, we kick off a few different programs that support local children and families. The Salvation Army's Angel Tree helps children in need, and Family Support Services of North Florida's Be an Angel supports children in the Duval County foster care system. Both programs provide gifts and other necessities to children who may not otherwise receive items during the holidays. This year, FRC Southeast has sponsored 75 Angel Tree and 50 Be an Angel children. Help make the holidays bright for these kids by following the directions on your screen and returning all gifts to the Public Affairs Office by November 30th. This is an incredible way to give back to families in your community. Tis the season for getting tacky and festive. You can't bring up the holidays at the plant without mentioning our ugly sweater and door decorating contests. This year, the door decorating contest will commence on December 1st, with judging on December 13th. The ugly sweater contest will be held on December 12th. Look out for emails with more information soon. It's also almost time for our quarterly blood drive, which takes place from Tuesday, December 5th through Thursday, December 7th. Because we no longer host a drive at Cecil Field, we have extended our drives here at the main campus by a day to better accommodate the workforce. 
Buses will be on site for donations at their usual locations. As always, online appointments are preferred, but walk-ins are always welcome. Also, if an appointment time is already taken online, please come on out anyways. Every donation is important. Before we close out, we also wanted to remind folks that open enrollment is upon us. Federal employees can make changes to their health, dental, or vision insurance now through December 11th. As always, we want to hear from you. Let us know if you have a story or information you would like to see in the next episode of ReadyMade. You can find us on social media or send us an email. Thanks for watching, enjoy your upcoming holiday, and we'll see you next time.